I'm back! Welcome back to another episode of Crazy Nice Homes. Today we're here at Orchard Area to see a duplex condominium unit that is 4,047 square feet. We're here to see how the crazy rich Asians live. The property value, more than $10 million and the renovation costs more than $1.3 million. If you are ready, let's go! Hey, hey, last time. Hey, long time. Hey, hey, hey. Now can shake yes, hand already. Yeah, long time. Okay, okay, okay. Long time. How are you? Yeah. How have you been? I'm good. I'm good. It has been crazy. Business has been super busy, especially after the last video we did with you. Wow. Okay. So if you haven't seen Mark in the other video, he looks really suave, right? So anyway, Mark. So what's the theme and inspiration behind this house? Okay, this house it will be Oriental opulence. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. So uh, first, let us take a look at the two interesting design elements in this leaf lobby. Okay. Okay, first is this mirror. Uh -huh. Take a look at this mirror. Normally, when we do engraved mirror, it's a front engraved. So if you touch it, you will see this. These are all the front okay. engraved mirror. You can feel the texture. Check out this one. This is actually a reverse engraved mirror. Oh. That is not common. Oh, it's yeah, you, smooth. Yes, you see the engraving, but you don't feel the engraving. Oh, yeah. it's called reverse engraving. Oh, yeah. wow. It's actually really yeah. smooth. Okay. Yeah. And another element that we, I would like to show you is this. This is uh, actually made with solid surface. The same, yeah, the same material that you see in, on this uh, kitchen top, we actually cut it into strips, round, make the edges rounded, oh. very weave, you know, very weave, and then we stick one piece onto this um, feature wall, which is actually a shoe cabinet. Oh. Yeah. It's aesthetically pleasing, yeah. functional, and buildable. If you remember the AFB concept uh -huh, that I introduced uh -huh. in the last video. Yeah. So you'll see a lot of that as well in this house. We employ the same philosophy, AFB. Excited to check out this home. Let's take a look. Wow, Mark. Yes, Lester. Welcome to one of the most interesting projects that I've undertaken. I can see it's indeed very interesting. So wait, firstly, what are we looking at here? Okay, firstly, you'll be greeted with this very grand TV wall. Very wide, very tall. It is. It's about what, seven meters? Yes, eight, eight meters? Yes, around there. And it was not originally in this elevation it was supposed to be here original tv wall was here a lot shorter but i thought since we're going to make it a very grand feeling what i did was i've actually integrated the main door as part of the living wall so to make it symmetrical symmetrical is wider is symmetrical yeah and to make it even wider i've actually added this wall which is i clad with onyx back later onyx Oh wow, so there's light behind yes, it? Yes, light behind it. We actually extend this even further. So on the other side, we have the same onyx wall. So you, you see this whole TV wall as symmetrical. Yes. Yeah, and it's very touchy. It's a bit bright now, but I can imagine at night this will look really, really fantastic. Esther, please take a seat. Thank you, I get to experience the whole area here. Let me first show you this. Very, very, so called amazing. It really table. looks amazing, right? It's a Colosseum, right? In Rome? Yes. In fact, this is actually an art piece. It's not really meant to be a coffee table. So, my owner actually got this at an auction. The challenge was this whole thing was actually a marble block. Oh, like a full, full marble, marble block. block? Yes. Wow. Of the Colosseum, right? So, one thing that uh, we did was to actually remove the huge chunk of marble in the, in the oh, middle. Oh, okay. Right? And we Converted it into storage. A storage. So all these are actually built for storage. So there's a lot of weight taken out, right? Yes, a lot of weight taken out. I think this is, has been reduced to less than 600 kg. Wow, six. Wow, it's still 600 kg. Wow, because pure marble. Yes, maximum we can fit this slab. You know, for this slab. You know, this is really such a nice centerpiece in the house, right? But I really love it, Mark. That your clients can just call you and hey, I got this. Can you do this for me? Can you settle this for me? So that's a pretty cool thing that he can provide. Yes. So and one of the. Uh, feature is this mirror that you see over here. In fact, the whole idea was to reflect this limited edition chandelier over here as well. So you get to admire this chandelier even on this coffee table. This looks like such an exquisite chandelier. Yes, yes. This is a limited edition Barak chandelier. Wow. It must be like six figures at least. Yes. Presenting the butterfly. Dining room. Oh, wow. Okay, so the wings are here, right? Yes. So you can see this butterfly pattern is actually created by four slabs of marble. Okay. So one slab, if you notice, starts from here. So this is 
one slab of marble. So we actually use four slabs to do a diamond match to form this butterfly pattern. Wait, what's diamond match? Diamond match means you mirror over this way and mirror over so-called horizontally and mirror over vertically. Oh, then it becomes a butterfly. It becomes a butterfly pattern. In fact, this is a sartorial marble. And uh, when I first saw this piece of marble, um, you will notice that if you look at this slab, it starts from here all the way to the other end, right? The grains are all tucked to the left side, whereas the right side is pretty empty. So, in a way, it doesn't look like a very interesting piece of marble. But when I take a picture of this, I go back to do some uh, editing, I notice that I can actually form a very nice butterfly image. And that's why I got so excited with this. Although this is like a not so appealing piece of marble, but once you put all the four together, it is just gorgeous. And it's really creative, right, Mark? So, I've noticed there are different tiers here as well. Yeah, this thin, I call them, is to create that flying butterfly effect. Yes, so you see movement on a plain piece of wall. In fact, uh, if you notice in this dining room, uh, this is like a longer wall, and this is actually a shorter wall. There are two walls that flank this dining space. So, my challenge is that, uh, where is the center line of this uh, so-called dining room? So what I did was, I actually created this over ceiling. Okay, so you notice that we have an over chandelier within an over ceiling, and we actually intentionally tuck the chandelier onto the left side of this ceiling. Oh. So in a way, it's intentionally made to be off-center, okay. but it's actually center to the other wall. I see, I see. Okay. It's like the over room in the White over House. Room. Yes. <laughs> Let's check out the master bedroom. Master bedroom. Check oh, this out. Oh, oh wow! It's a circle bed. It's not something that you see every day. It's not common at all. The challenge is to design a bed head to match this because the, the owner actually bought this bed before we designed this room. So we have to design something to, to match this. Okay. Yeah. And uh, one of the issues with a circular or curved bed head is that um, you may not be able to have any functional value. Okay. Right? But what we try to do here is that we try to have storage function, storage unit behind this curved bed as well. Oh, storage. Yeah, so check this out. Oh, okay. So behind all these panels are actually storage unit. So even we actually have it uh, behind the chandelier. Another interesting element is what is in front of us. Okay. Um, this uh, roller blind system. Now in a typical roller blind system, right, you will always have this uh, gap between the roller blind okay. and that means that light will seep through especially you know when you use it with the night curtain yeah. so what we did was we actually created this U channel okay. where the night curtain can actually slot in between oh. so this prevents the, the seepage of light so oh, you can I create a, a total blackout effect like, total dark like a hotel room you know you can sleep until like 12 noon yes total blackout okay. and in front of me is actually a onyx wall uh, mirroring the same design intent from the living room of course, we have this uh, curved TV wall that mirrors the same design intent for the bed. It's symmetrical, well. a bit like outside, right? Let's, uh, let's check out the common bedroom. Now, you probably noticed uh, in the previous few bedrooms that we've been to, right? There is this similar ceiling detail that we introduced. Okay, this is also the request of the client. So they wanted a more elaborate uh, ceiling. So we introduced all these uh, molding panels, cornices, you know, to have that more luxurious view. Now, the challenging thing is that we need to integrate this ducted aircon, you know, within this uh, ceiling detail. So we actually literally cut through every single groove, uh, cut through the, uh, yes. the, the molding, yes, to allow the aircon uh, outlet to be integrated nicely. Okay, so they like flow seamlessly, very, looks very nice. Yes, and we also do some uh, ceiling mouldings along these aisles as well. So this is to so-called hide that access panel. So if you notice, usually we have some access panel along yes, the, this yes, aisle. Yes. Right? So by doing this moulding, we actually hide the line work. Oh, okay, so it's, it's one of these? It's one of these. <laughs> okay, but well, you don't know which one to go up. Let's check out another feature of this room. Hand-painted wallpaper. This is uh, something that we actually introduced in another room as well, the Mahjong room. Oh, yes. wow, there's a Mahjong room here. I'll show you later. Stay tuned for the Mahjong room. Yes, so this is a piece of wallpaper, it's also a piece of art. 
Okay, so this is uh, customized? Yes, it's customized. We commission an artist uh, to draw it for us. We tell the artist how many birds we need, the kind of flowers we need, you know, uh, the base colour, etc. Et you can even choose the type of birds, I guess? Yes, we can. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they will send us some kind of a draft after the brief. And then once you're okay, the owner is okay. So once everything is done, they will do the graphic in the computer first. Okay. And after that, before they actually paint it and of course ship it to us. Oh, oh so they don't paint here, like they ship, uh, they yeah. paint somewhere else and then they ship, ship down is, here. Yeah. Oh. Yes, sir. We just finished the tour of the western zone of the house. And now, we are entering the eastern zone. Wow, this house is huge. It's like east and west zone. Yeah. And the first room, that greet us is actually wow, the Mahjong, Mahjong room. room! Come, yes. check it out. And behind me is another feature wallpaper, oh. hand-painted wallpaper. Okay, it looks a bit shiny here. Yeah. So this one has added this uh, the shimmering, this silver powder. So you have this a bit of a sheen on it. And this is not just a feature wallpaper, it's actually a storage unit as well. So it comes with this lateral hinge door. So you can slide it this way. Oh, a lateral hinge. Okay, yeah. this is uh, quite so, uncommon too. Yes, and it allows you to keep the door in, in position while leaving the door open. And you can watch TV. While playing mahjong. Watch soccer. Yeah. You know, and then play mahjong together at the same time. Okay. Yes, and if you notice there's no baseboard on this storage unit. Yeah. This allows you to so-called close the mahjong table. Flip the mahjong table keep it and keep it inside. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So, but do you know, you play mahjong here, then outside can hear very noisy. We actually created some door system to enclose this. So, if you notice in front, in front of you, or me, it's actually a sliding door. This is actually an e-glass sliding door. So, by pressing the button, you can actually change this from a frosted glass panel to a clear glass panel. Oh, in case you want privacy or you don't want privacy, okay. But then, how does it enclose the space? Yes, there's no sliding door here. But what we do is that we use this feature wall, which is actually a swing door. Okay that allows you to so-called meet this sliding door and creating an enclosed room. Yes, sir. Let's check out the feature stairwell. Now, if you notice this uh, strip here that you see is similar to what, what uh, at the we lift, have. right? Yeah, what we have okay. at the lift lobby. So these are all the solid surface strip cut at random width. Yes and round it at the sides and, and we place it together one by one on this whole stairwell. Okay, imagine how long does it take man to do this entire whole entire stairs. Yes, and we actually rip off the original uh, handrail as well. Change it to a, this uh, orange leather handrail to match the rest of the furniture. So as we move up, you will see this uh, feature wallpaper. Okay, we uh, intentionally choose this very loud wallpaper to act as a feature against this uh, muted give it uh, a splash of color, color scheme. Right? Yes, yep. a splash of color. And if you look up, you will see this uh, feature ceiling. We actually uh, adopted the same uh, design intent, like a ripper uh, effect onto the ceiling itself. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, so in total, how much does this entire stairwell cost? Well, this whole thing, including the carpeted stairs, the leather handrail, you know, the walls and the ceiling cost about 100,000. Wow, this is really quality, paying yes. for quality. This is the last stop of the house the upper lift lobby. Uh, similar design to the lower lift lobby. But what's interesting is that we have this sliding stone window. Oh, it, yeah. Oh, wow, it's pretty heavy. Yes, it's heavy because it's actually a stone. It's a marble uh, sliding window. Uh, by default, this is actually an opening at the upper lift uh, lobby. But we decided that we need to have this window because we want to preserve, if you notice when you're at the lower deck, right? Yeah. At the TV feature wall, we wanted an like, uninterrupted design. Uh, so okay. you see the marble at the top right -hand corner actually okay, okay, is that okay. window. Oh, I see. So you can close it. It's like a full feature wall. Yes, but if you need ventilation, you can just open it. So, Mark, the million dollar question: How much does it cost to do up this crazy nice home? The owner spent one point three million to do this reno, exclude furniture. So, Mark, being the designer of this home, right? Which part of the home is your favorite? Uh, it has to be this butterfly wall. Uh, it started with this uh, idea of this slab that doesn't look appealing, but we managed to so-called do a diamond mat and come up with this butterfly design. So friends, tell us which part of the home that you like best in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to this channel and click here for more crazy nice homes. We hope to see all of you next time. Take care everybody, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.